More local perspective now on our top story tonight at 6, an Attorney General Jeff Sessions' decision to roll back an Obama administration policy on marijuana enforcement in states where it's legal. Folks in Pueblo County on edge tonight awaiting the repercussions. News News5's Jessica Barreto watching out for you with how some are getting ready to fight back, Jessica. That's right, Elizabeth. Marijuana dispensary manager William Swift has seen his business, 404 Dispensary, thriving since it first opened up in August. But in light of today's announcement by Jeff Sessions that his dispensary is now under the jurisdiction of the DOJ, he says he's ready to put up a fight if necessary. Everything, to be honest, it kind of shocked me a little bit. William Swift with 404 Dispensary is concerned about the future of his business following today's announcement by Attorney General Jeff Sessions that he's rolling back Obama-era marijuana policies. And even though the U.S. Attorney of Colorado says he won't be changing anything when it comes to prosecution, it's still under his discretion, an option, Swift believes, that could soon evolve into a real threat. Something that we're taking seriously here as well, and we'll make up proper precautions to be ready for the fight. And a threat to Pueblo's bottom line. Losing this, I think that Colorado, as well as the other legal states, would be losing a portion of the backbone we've started to build in our economies. Commissioner Sal Pace says he's willing to join the fight. Here in Pueblo, the locality has spoken at the ballot box uh, multiple times now, and we will not let uh, one person who is making policy based on misguided information uh, to tear apart the economic engine that we have in our community. In the meantime, Swift says he's gearing up for whatever comes next. Foreboding sensation, I would say. It's like a, almost like a tsunami. Now it's the calm before the storm. Our fight's just beginning and we're, we'll be there for it. We also did reach out to the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office for a comment on this announcement by Attorney General Jeff Sessions and have not heard back yet. Back to you.